Hello, I'm Tim Krull. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Central. I hope you're doing well. And in today's video, this is a video I've had planned for a while, I'm going to be ranking every single Norwich City's player's performance so far this season. We've got five tiers, we're using tier maker, we've got elite level, this is someone who's had a fantastic season for Norwich City. We've got good, this is someone who's been really impressive in the Premier League and you know has put in a lot of good performance. Then we've got average. This is the third level of the tier list. This is someone who's you know had some good performances, had some poor performances, and overalls in average. Uh, the next tier list is poor. This is someone who's not quite cut it in the Premier League, and um, you know has sometimes sometimes had some okay performances, but overall is, is someone who's not not been that great. And then the final and the bottom of the tier list is not being good enough. This is someone who's not shown to be Premier League quality and. Uh, must improve or if it doesn't improve um, then in the famous words of Claude from Arsenal Fan TV it's time to go. Um, this is quite an opinionated piece so you know there's going to be some players you'll probably disagree with but I'd love to hear down below in the comment section what you think and where you would rank players so far this season. Can we get to 50 likes and if you are new to Norris City Central please subscribe. Plenty of content coming very soon as Norris City um, and the Premier League returns, which is going to be really exciting. So the first player we're going to be ranking, we're going from goalkeepers to strikers, is Michael McGovern. Michael McGovern's a very interesting one, actually. He saved the penalty against Aston Villa, but of course in that game um, conceded conceded five goals. And Michael McGovern's someone who I think is probably his is, is, is time at Norris City is probably clo close to being over. I think it would be good for Michael McGovern to go to a lower league, you know, championship team and play regular football. But yeah, he, he he's done okay in a couple of games, but overall he's quite a poor goalkeeper and I'm going to put McGovern in poor. Next up though, Tim Krul. For me, Tim krul has been our player of the season. He's been absolutely fantastic. The highlight of his Norwich City season so far in 2019-2020 in is probably against Tottenham with those two brilliant penalty saves. And yeah, Tim Krul has been a, com a commanding presence. And when we, when we consider the championship, Tim Krul was probably one of our weakest links and we signed Ralph Fairman who was meant to be our number one goalkeeper but Tim Krul's come in shown why he's a fantastic Premier League goalkeeper and for me he's an elite level player and I'm going to put Tim Krul at the very top of this tier list in elite level. Next up we've got Jamal Lewis. Jamal Lewis is someone who's suffered a little bit from injuries this season and, and quite a few players have suffered from injuries. Jamal Lewis is someone who I think um, has had some very impressive performances. You look towards the end of the season against Leicester where you know he scored that brilliant goal and it was fantastic. But also, particularly towards the start of the season, similar to uh, Max Aaron, did struggle a little bit. Um, and you know, I remember Burnley away where, where he really struggled. So for me, Jamal Lewis has had an average Premier League season and I'm sure as time gets on, the youngster's going to improve and, and turn out to be a fantastic left-back, hopefully in Norwich City colours. Next up, we've got Sam Byram and Jamal Lewis got injured, so that Sam Byram comes in and does fantastically well. I remember, I think it was his debut against Manchester City where he was phenomenal. I mean, so many fantastic Norwich City performances um, that day. Sam Byron's been great this season. I think he's been a very reliable fullback, um, particularly you know filling in, filling in the left back and the right back role when he's had to. And yeah, he's looked really good, really comfortable. It's a shame he got injured against Liverpool, but for me, Sam Byron has been a very good player so far for Norwich City this season. Next up, we've got Ben Godfrey, an absolute unit at the back. I think his best performance as well was probably Tottenham away that 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 um, second to last game before the virus hits. Ben Godfrey is someone who could turn out to be a fantastic Premier League defender. He's got strength, he's really good with the ball, he's very quick. He's got so many exciting attributes. I think so far this season he has some, he has had some good performances, but also, and Ben Godfrey will admit, sometimes you know he, his performances have been quite poor. Norris City are up there with conceding quite a lot of goals and he has made a few mistakes. But for me, Ben Godfrey has been average, but similar to, Mal, uh, similar to Jamal, he's someone who could go really really far in the game um, he's got a lot of really good qualities Crystal Zimmerman's next and for me I think I'm going to put Crystal Zimmerman in average um, but only just I think Zinnerman, we, we, we really missed him when he got injured kind of in that October, October, November spell where Norris City couldn't get any wins and that's probably you know, why we're so far. That's kind of been our downfall. Um, so we really struggled without him. When he came in, you know, we, we looked really good. We got, we got that win against Everton. But Zinnerman has made a few mistakes this season. Um, yeah, he's, he's had a, yet again, he's had a mixture of some good and bad performances. So he's going to go in average. Grant Hanley, I think a lot of people were writing Grant Hanley off. Um, <laughs> probably myself included, but he's Norris City's club captain. 
and he's done really, really well at the back. You know, I don't think many people would have thought he would have had much football. Didn't really get much football in the championship. But yeah, Grant Hanley's been great. A lot of good performances. Um, I think he's at the top tier of the average. I think I don't think he's quite been good, but I think he's he's definitely he's definitely been capable. He's he's stepped up into the Premier League quite well. Next up in this tier list, we have Tim Closer. Now it's really hard to rank Tim Closer because he's only played twenty seven minutes of football. For Norwich City, obviously getting injured in the first half against Crawley and hasn't appeared since. Tim Closer, we've missed him because he's someone who could have had a big part to play in Norwich City's season and, you know, could have helped us stop leaking so many goals. So it's it's tough to rank Tim Closer, but this video is ranking every Norwich City player, so I will try and rank him. I can't put him in the bottom category, not being good enough, because he hasn't had a chance to prove if he is good enough. But um, I think I'm going to have to put him in poor, and let's hope um, you know Tim Closer going forward in a Norwich City can career um, can be really, really good. Also in this tier list, it's important to say that um, Ibrahim Amadou, Patrick Roberts, and Ralph Fairman aren't on the list. Why? Because Norwich City. Uh, deem them that they weren't good enough they deem that they not, have not been good enough and it's time for them to go so I, I think Norwich City have already made those three players clear um, and, and that they've been and they're not been good enough since they've been released I think Amadou um, had a, a few impressive performances but overall the, these players weren't needed and they were poor signings and uh, Norwich City said it's, it's time for them to go next up we've got Max Aarons he's been good this season um, he struggled a little bit at the start but he's really flourished um, and he's turned out to be a really good right back and someone who the big boys could potentially be interested in Alex Tetty, central defensive midfielder and no matter who we sign whether it's Malumbu or Amadou this season you know, we're trying to look for replacements for Teddy, who's getting on coming towards the end of his career. But yet he still sticks around and he shows his Premier League quality. He's had a good season for Norwich City. I think he's been really good, really reliable. You look early on in the season where Tribun and Leitner were, were too by, bypassed too easy. Teddy's come in. He's protected the back four quite well. We, we haven't been quite leaky in terms of um, goals when teddy has been in there. He's a great Premier League player and, and a great servant for Norwich City. So he's had a good season. Next up, we've got Tom Tribal. For me, I think Tom Tribal was really good in the Championship. For, but for me so far this season, he has been poor. Um, you know, he could come back after the virus and do very well. But for Tribal, he's been poor. He's had quite a few injuries. Um, he's had a couple of decent performances against Everton and Leicester. But overall, I think he's been poor. He's given the ball away probably too many times. I, in particular, I remember the Tottenham at home game in which he did that. And yeah, I don't think he's quite, quite, um, you know, been at the Premier League quality level. So for me, he's been poor. Leitner's another one who hasn't really stepped up in the Premier League. I think he was the most dribble pass player um, early on in the season. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him in. He's not been good enough for me. Leitner's not been good enough. He's at the bottom of the tier list. Um, Farkas completely frozen out of the team. You know, he's playing quite regularly towards the start of the season, and then. Farker just completely took him away. He wasn't even on the bench. So for me, Leitner's not been good enough so far this season. And uh, yeah, if he doesn't improve after the break, it could be time for him to go. But um, he's someone who has a lot, of, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of quality, just not been able to show it. And I hope, you know, I hope he, he's able to do that. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh on Leitner there because he, he he did do well in the Newcastle game. But I, I think because Fark has not really been playing him much, I don't think he's been good enough. Um, Kenny McLean next. Really exciting player, Kenny McLean. I think he's done much better in the defensive midfield role than he has in the calm spot. I think Kenny McLean's someone who um, he provides a lot of energy, and and Fark has pretty much played him throughout the whole of the season. This is a guy who's pretty much stuck in the team, been stuck in the team. I don't think he's quite been good enough in the calm role for me because he hasn't been able to add the goals, and that's what you need from a calm. We've been been so reliant on Campwell and Pookie this season, but Kenny McLean's had an average season so far. I, th I think he, I think he looks good on the ball. I think he's had some poor performances, but some very good ones as well. Mario Rancic, I'm going to put him in average. He's the uh, Out of all the Norris City players, he's been played the third least amount of times, which is ridiculous because Mario Rancic was one of the best players in that championship season for us. He's so good, so, so much quality, but through injuries and just not being picked, he hasn't really been able to show that. But when he has, you know, he's done OK. Um, Duda next, and for me, he's not been good enough. Um... Duda came in and, and he was thrown right at the deep end. So I do feel a bit sorry for him coming to a new country. But he was told, you know, you're starting in the Canberra. You need to score goals because Norris City have not scored goals, enough, enough goals so far this season. And he hasn't been able to do that. He's missed some really good chances and he's not been good enough. And for me, he must improve. Marco Stuperman, someone who started the season 
like Tribal and like like um, with, with Lightning as well, started the season they did okay, but Superman someone who's failed to um, failed to really make an impact. And for me, Marco Stupinman has had a poor season. Lucas Rupp, I think for me he's also had a poor season. I wouldn't say he's not been good enough because there's been times where he he's done okay on the ball on that right wing spot and. Lucas Rupp on that right wing, it's not his job to score goals, it's kind of his job to facilitate the play. Um, but yeah, I think he's had a poor season. I don't think he's shown you know, too much Premier League quality, but he's someone who could you know, have a big part to say if, if Norris, with Norris City going forward if Farker continues to pick him, and I wish him all the best. Left midfield, Todd Cantwell. He's had a very good season. I'm going to put him in good. Um, six Premier League goals, two assists and 31 appearances. He's been fantastic and it's really nice to see a youngster do really well. Ono Hernandez. Mm, I don't know with Ono Hernandez because he's someone who really excited me in the Championship and he played so much in the Championship. Someone who, who'd, um, you know, he's a big reason in us getting promoted. His, his pace and his directness caused teams a lot of problems. He done, he's done okay this season, but he hasn't really been able to be a first-team player. I'm going to say he's had an average Premier League season. I think he was quite good in that October-November spell. Um, but, you know, is it, verging on that poor side as well. Um, Adam Eder, next. He's had an... Adam Eder's a tough one, you know. I think he's had a good Premier League season. He hasn't obviously played that much, but he scored, to get, he scored the hat-trick in the FA Cup. And when he has played, he's looked lively. Um, so I put Adam Eder in good. Emi Buendia is someone who <laughs> is, is very hard to pick with Emi Buendia. I'm, sorry, I'm going to move Adam Eder into average just because of his lack of game time. Game time. And for me, Emi Buendia has been good. The only reason I'm not putting him in elite is just because in that October-November spell, he had a, a, quite a poor spell in which Farker dropped him and sometimes his attitude would get in the way and he wouldn't be necessarily putting in amazing performances. But on his day, Emi Buendia is one of the most talented midfielders Norwich City have ever had. Um, he's created the second or third most chances in the league. December, he was you know, one of the Player of the Month nominees. He's a fantastic player, but purely for consistency levels, I'm going to put him in good and not quite elite. Josip Dermic, he's had an average season. He's another player who's had a lot of injuries. Um, but when he has played, you know, he's scored goals against Burnley in the FA Cup, against... Tottenham as well, although he tried his best to miss that one. But for me, he's had an average season. And lastly on this list, Timu Puki, the GOAT. the um, Someone who completely ripped up the championship. And for me, Timu Puki has been good this season. He started the season being one of the best Premier League strikers. Um, absolutely terrific. Um, but then as the season's gone in, he's not been quite been able to hit those high, high heights. But still, 11 Premier League goals, a lot of teams in and around the relegation would probably take Team Pukki over their strikers. So we've got someone who works very hard off the ball, someone who's a very good striker, someone who's, you know, as a person who's very humble and one of my favourite players. So he's been good. So there we go. That is my Norris City tier list. What do you think? Looking at it, maybe I'm being a bit kind to some of these Norris City players because as a team... You know, we're, we're 20th in the league, we're bottom of the league and, and, and we've, we've, been, we've been poor as a team and we've probably not been good enough. But I think that doesn't tell the whole reflection of the season because I think a lot of these players have been quite average and have been quite good. But of course, some of these players have lacked Premier League quality and not been good enough. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments section. As I said, this is an opinion piece, so, um, you know, you'll probably have differing opinions to me. So I'd love to hear what you think down below. And yes, if you are new to Norwich City Central, please subscribe for consistent Norwich City content and plenty coming up now as the Premier League starts to um, starts to resume. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe. 50 likes, please, if you can. And I'll see you later.